Good evening, everyone, and happy Friday before spring break. We made it. Um, the article that I chose to focus on this week was the Jonathan Sh Serber, Jonathan Serber article, um, The Shaping of Political Catholicism in the Ruhr Basin, um, 1848 to 1881. And I think this article, or I would argue and am arguing that this article um, creates a clear connection and almost a sort of domino effect uh, between rights and how rights affect religion and then how religion will then affect identity, or does affect identity. Um, so this article starts with explaining that in the Ruhr Basin, um, we see an increase in industrial jobs. The basin starts to become industrialized and it brings people from the overcrowded rural areas, which is something that um, was an interesting concept to me, an overcrowded rural area. But there wasn't enough um, substance in the rural areas to support the population. And um, so people from these rural areas started to move to these more industrialized cities. Um, and it was largely Catholics who were moving into the Ruhr Basin because it had um, recently become industrialized. When the Catholics moved into the city, of course, they brought along with them their religion. Um, and this is where I see the first connection between rights and religion. So um, previously in the class, we've talked about how um, you couldn't really move around with your religion, and now you can. So that's a right that has been granted. Um, and the religion aspect is tied into the rights because you have the right to move um, no matter what religion you have. And people ended up moving in religious groups um, and so they kind of play with each other, the rights and the religion there. Um, this also brought um, a comparison to my mind about the United States and the Irish potato famine. Um, Catholics, again, coming from Ireland to the United States and um, how it was their right, and they brought with them their religion, and the religion then affected the people who were in the areas who might not have been Catholic in the first place. Um, that was not in the article. It was just something that um, I thought about. Um, after people were in these industrialized areas, especially after the dissolution of the labor unions, um, we see people starting to have their religion be a bigger part of their identity. Um, and this is because when the labor unions were dissolved, um, the majority of the people who were working in the industrial industry were Catholic, and so they started to become extremely Catholic. It started to become their identity um, because they needed a group to belong to. They needed something that held them all together and gave them a sense of belonging and camaraderie, and it became religion after these labor unions were dissolved. Um, and this is where we get to the domino effect of rights, religion, and identity. Um, you have the original right to move, plays with, you know, religion being the factor of um, do I have the right to move or not? And then after you do move with your religious group, your religious group becomes your identity, especially, you know, if you're moving around with your religious group, it's um, obviously very important and a big part of your identity. So in summation, the, the Cerber article um, shows a clear connection between rights, religion, and identity, especially um, dealing with Catholicism in the Ruhr Basin.